Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the New York Giants and the Carolina Panthers. All that and more coming up next. From the state of Bavaria and its capital Munich, we're looking at Allianz Arena. Normally a famed football stadium, but here, playing host to the NFL and a much different type of football. Hi there, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us. You picked a fun one to tune into. I'm Kate Scott, joined by former NFL quarterback Brock Heward. And we've got two quarterbacks here, Brock, who are known for playing a very exciting brand of football. Not just throwing the rock, but taking it themselves, too. Yep, these are two of the guys who really epitomize the direction that this position's going in the modern NFL. Yep. Pocket passers, they'll have their place. They always will. But a lot of teams look to somebody like this as a default. A great passer but someone who can also mix in plenty of rushing yards and keep that defense honest. We're through the warm-ups. Both teams are ready. And we're underway from Munich. Raheem Blackshear now to return. He stopped on the return at the 27. So now out comes the Panther offense for its initial drive of the game. Bringing him out, coming off a tough rookie season as the top pick in the 2023 draft is Bryce Young. I think when Bryce Young heard his name called to Carolina a couple years ago, he knew that he was in for a rebuild. He knew that it might be some tough circumstances, but I don't think he could have ever imagined the kind of beating he took both physically, mentally, emotionally in a 2-14 and 14 season. But we know this also in the history of football. There have been a lot of number one picks that have been knocked down. And it's not about getting knocked down. It's about coming off that map. Many of them have. And I know Carolina will look for some positive steps out of the second-year player this season. And defenders are there to get him at the line. Dexter Lawrence on the tackle. No gain there that time. And it's second and ten. Big man up front said, not in my house. Let me tell you, Kate, once you're in the grasp of one of those big old fellas on the D-line, you're done. They would say it on the East Coast like this. It's over. Over. Didn't get that one off in time. This is going to be a delay of game. Delay of game. Off. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Still second down. Still second down. So things getting a bit tougher following that penalty. We've got second and 15. Young working from the gun. Leggett's got it. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. I'll tell you this. You don't want to make a living throwing into double coverage, but double coverage and still finding a way to beat the defense and haul it in. That's not a situation many players win. And a lot of quarterbacks willing to make that throw and trust their receiver to get it done. On third down, it's Young. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he's going to run for it! And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. He manages a gain of eight there. And it'll give the Panthers a first down. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. Play clock down to zero, and the flags come out. Delay of game. Austin. Everyone was set, and at the line, the quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. Still first down. Still first down. Set him back five. It's first and 15 after the penalty. Shotgun snap now to Young. Has him on the quick hitter. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him on the route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after it. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Out of the gun, Young. He's on the move. 
Stepping up, and he's going to run. And he wisely avoids contact, sliding down there, and that played good enough for a first. Give him 13 on that play. And that'll be good for a Carolina first. You know, Kate, back in the day, we had a slip and slide to practice for moments just like that. Actually practicing how to slide and get out of harm's way. Nice gain on the play. And denied that defense yet another chance to take a shot on it. Got to it right as he threw it, and it falls to the ground. No luck finding his receiver that time. So it'll be second down. And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. On second down, it's Hubbard. This is ahead for about five. Brian Burns coming up with the stop. There's five on that play. They need five more now on third down. A humble five, six-yard gain on the ground. Not a huge gain. Not a game-changing play by any means. But one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Young to throw here on third. That is caught along the sideline, and he gets the feet down. Wow. They manage 22 on the rip and a first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Up to the line, and they're set. First and ten. They kick the running back in motion. Complete, but boy, are they lucky it wasn't intercepted. That was a risky shot, but fortunately, they still have second down coming up. Oh, that was such an opportunity lost. They were looking for a way out without giving up any points on the series. And instead, well, he just couldn't quite hang on. They motion the tight end over. Play action now, Young. Escapes the pocket. He's keeping it. It's out of harm's way after stringing together some nice yards on that run. All right, still scoreless through one quarter, but that looks like it's going to change pretty soon. Hopefully no shortage of excitement coming up in the second. More of the NFL on EA Sports right after this. Time for our second quarter here, and the Panthers are thinking points. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Third down from the gun. Forced out to his right. And he's going to score. Touchdown, Carolina! The Panthers get the game's first points here in the second. It's a Bryce Young touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Starting from the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. So the Giants out and getting set for their first drive. 
Leading them out in his sixth NFL season since being picked sixth overall, Daniel Jones. Well, we've had to wait until the second quarter to finally see him and his offense out there. And we're going to see what they have in them here, Kate, in a hurry. Down a touchdown with how long they've been sitting over there. I know the feeling. You're chomping at the bit. You're likely going to be pretty aggressive with the football. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Right to the air. It's Jones. And he just gets rid of it. Knew he had a couple of plays left. Didn't want to take a risk there on first down. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Throwing here, Jones. That pass is caught by Wandale Robinson. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. You want to become a quarterback's best friend? Do that. Turn a short little gain, a short little pass into some yards after catch, and that quarterback will find you again. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. Jones. Catch made, Tyrone Tracy. 12 yards on that play, and a good call, and that's him the first. To this day, I can still see the faces of the big guys in the huddle room. You call a screen like that, instead of them just getting knocked backwards, they get to be salesmen. They get to push those linemen downfield and then tee off and go hit somebody like they did right there. Again, Jones to the air. Catch is made. It's Jalen Hyatt. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. That play goes for 19 and a new set of downs. I love throwing on first down. And when you see a first down pass just like that, it's taking advantage of a matchup you plan for and you go out and execute. First down throw by Jones. Pass cut! And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that will set up first and goal. Shotgun snap, a gift to Tracy. In the middle holds, they don't get anything on the run. He couldn't get anything there, and now it's second and goal. This defensive battle has reached the two-minute warning. It's the Giants facing second and five. Working from the gun, here's Jones. Rolling left, buying some time. And they take this in for the score. The Giants earn the chance to tie it before halftime. Daniel Jones with the touchdown. Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain, he did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. You gotta be able to create when a play breaks down, and when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group with confidence. That one right down the middle. And the Giants respond with seven of their own to tie it here early. The Giants ready to kick this one away, and off we go once more. Blackshear on the return. 
And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. They're out and set, first and 10. Now Young. That's more on the quick slant. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. Panthers moving quickly, trying to get set at the line. From the 38. He's on the move. He can run it. Three yards there and enough to move the chains. You know, that's one of those little mental Rolodex plays. Right before the snap, you know if the read isn't there, that option isn't there, you can use your legs to make the adjustment and go get the first down. Panthers moving quickly, trying to get set at the line. Here's Young on first and ten. On the move, headed right. Taken off with it again. Now we get a timeout by the Panthers. It's their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. Second down now, seven to go. From the 43. Catch made by Chuba Hubbard. And they push this down to the opposing 47-yard line. Now Carolina's going to take a timeout. That's its second. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. Football on that 47-yard line. First down. Back to throw. Here's Young. Pulled in by Tommy Trumbull. And he goes out a little short of the 40. I know I could sound like a broken record when I talk about timing and getting the ball out on time and on rhythm, but these outcuts, it is so imperative, and the best of them make it look oh so easy. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. From the 41. Caught nice gain left side. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He got 24 yards on the play, and it'll give the Panthers a first down. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him, only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Into traffic, complete! And he works this to the 15 before they make the stop. Second down now, seven to go. Sticking to the air, it's Young. Connection made to Tremble. And he takes this one down to the 10 before hitting that sideline. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on the throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. All plays on the table here for third and three. Young working from the gun. Too much on that, and it sails through the end zone incomplete. Just something off in the rhythm of their passing game on that one. Time to recalibrate and keep throwing it to get back into rhythm. Staring at fourth down now, the Panthers electing to go with Eddie Pinheiro for the field goal try. High percentage look for him here from the left hash. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that's going to break our tie and give them a three-point advantage. I never saw a play script that ended with a field goal. It was always a touchdown that you wanted. 
That's three points, and it's enough to give him the lead. Well, Brock Barton, the touchback. This kickoff should run out the half, so better make that return good as it's away. From a couple yards deep, this is going to come out. He's hauled down on what is the final play of our first half. So we've reached halftime. Only a field goal game so far. As we hear from Jonathan Coachman over in Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. Back to you and Brock in a bit. But first, time for our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been as good as advertised. Just a field goal separating these two teams. This was a very level first half, and I'd expect to see more of the same after the break. All right, thank you, Coach. And we are back and about set to begin the second half. A half a play still to go here as we're back to football in Moonchin. His return starts at the five. In pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. They'll begin with a quick completion to the right side. And he'll get taken down after advancing this to the 37. That is a textbook first down completion. Sets up second and very manageable. It creates space to take that shot downfield. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. And the play clock hits zero. This is going to be delay of game. Delay of game. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Still second down. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Running it after the penalty. And he has it up towards midfield before he's taken down at the 47. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. Going to the ground again on first. And he's able to reach the 40 on that play. It's a 13-yard play, and that's enough for the first. Ooh, I like that call. I really, I really like it with those sticks you can keep on the sidelines, and you get more than enough to get the first down. New slated downs to approach here from the 40. On first down, it's Jones to throw. Nowhere to go with it, so he just throws it away. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. From the shotgun, it's Jones. Has his man, it's Tracy. He's contained at the line for no gain. Tackle made by J.C. Horn. Some certainly do it better than others, Kate, but every running back in the league today has got to do just that. You cannot be a one-dimensional back in the league anymore. You can't. you got to be able to handle your business, both toting the ball as a runner, and really importantly, as a check-down outlet on short throws. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. Big gain, 14 on the play. 
And it's good enough for a New York first down. I know the Combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the Combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. Jones on first down. Caught by Theo Johnson. Has room into the secondary. And he takes it in. Touchdown, New York! The Giants take the lead right away in half number two. You love seeing a tight end get the chance to show off those wheels right, and in the best of cases, he can rumble the whole way home. Can't think of getting somebody with that type of mass rolling at full speed. Who's really going to want to stand in the way wants to stop him anyhow? The answer, nobody. Kicking unit comes out for the extra point. The point after splits the uprights. And the Giants take a four-point lead. Giants ready to kick this one away, and off we go once more. Moore with a return. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Offense ready to begin this drive, first and ten. Play action now, Young. Able to get it to Moore. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for short yardage, but sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. They bring a tight end in motion right. They don't get this snapped in time. This is going to back them up. Delay of game. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Still first down. So they should be a little prompter in snapping this, you'd hope, Brock, after that delay of game. Shotgun snap now to Young. That one's complete right side. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. It's a gain of 17 on that one. And that'll be good for a Carolina first. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. First and 10, it's Hubbard. And he's brought down after a solid gain on what's going to be the final play of the quarter. Three quarters in the books from this one. The Panthers have it to start, coming in trailing on the scoreboard. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. And first carry now for Jonathan Brooks. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. It's got to be so demoralizing as a defense when you go up against a running back who just keeps those legs churning like a piston in an engine. And that effort's contagious. This entire offense is getting a boost when he busts those tackles.
First down, and they go right back to it. And they've got him behind the line for a big loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Offense to the line for second down. This time it's a passing play. Hubbard hauls it in. And he'll get it down to the 24-yard line. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler. Gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he'll be brought down here at the 23-yard line. Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes. They so often tell the story of every position on the field. And that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read. And so often it's a tight end. Well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle, force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. Desperation time here on fourth. Moore's got it. And he's going to be taken down near the eight-yard line. Left the offense out there on fourth down, Brock. And look at the result. A big game. They got 15 and the first. We've reached the two-minute warning. Panthers losing by four. Gotta think this is four down territory, Brock, as they come up here first and goal. Counterplay, Hubbard. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. These stops, they don't always make the end of game highlight reels, but they absolutely should. The coaches and players know it. Offenses are always counting on yards on that type of run. And anytime it results in a loss, it could be a potential drive killer. Threading backward to the 11 as they line up for second and goal. to throw connects with Hubbard and he has it down in the eight yard line on the play that's a defense's goal right Kate just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field and that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks buckle up it's third and goal throwing now Setting up the screen. And he will score and give him the lead in the final minute. So what a finish this is shaping up to be. The late touchdown here, Brock, moves them in front. And week to week, what a pleasure it is for us to call these games. We never know yeah. what kind of game we're going to get. This one's been everything you could have wanted. And now, even though they've taken the lead, there's still enough time on that other sideline for them to go mount a response. That one splits the uprights. And the Panthers push their lead to three. Here's a return from the seven. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Now to throw. Did not like what he was seeing, Brock, and he just hurls this one away. Couldn't 
didn't connect on first. It's second down. Here he is to throw. Connects with Johnson. And he has that first down before stopping the clock. Just under 30 seconds left to work with. The big play at some 17 yards. And the Giants will have a first down. Looking to throw it. The catch is made down the right sideline. This one goes for an even 25 yards. And it's good enough for a New York first down. <laughs> that is what elite offenses are all about. Why worry about three downs when you need only one? Move the chains in one play and keep driving that defense backwards. All their timeouts left, but not much time itself. It's first and ten. Setting up to pass. He finds Johnson. And they haul him down just a foot or two shy of the red zone. The Giants using their first timeout. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. In quite the time crunch here, Brock, but still two timeouts to burn. It's first down. A give to Tracy up the middle. And his effort results in maybe two yards, but nothing more. Timeout calls, and that's going to be the second for New York. Still one more in their pocket to use. Eight yards to go. Let's see how they approach this second down. Here's Tracy once more. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. The Giants are going to call their final timeout here. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. So now the field goal unit runs on in a very big spot. Now we get a timeout by the Panthers. It's their first. And they still have two available for them as we approach the end of this game. So the Giants now going to call on their field goal unit. This is from 35 out on the left hatch. Looking good, and it's through. And in the final moments, they force overtime. Overtime rested on his leg, Kate, and he got the job done. And now, well, things go a specific way in OT. The next time we see him line up, it could be for the game winner. The Giants ready to kick this one away, and off we go once more. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Here he is to throw. He puts some juice on a deep throw down the middle. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. Man, this has been such a great game. Nobody is ready for it to end just yet. After four quarters, we're headed to overtime.
And hopefully this conclusion will be just as exciting as our opening four quarters. The kick is away here in overtime. Blackshear on the return. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. They're out and set. First and ten. This drive will begin with Hubbard. And all that for a single yard. What an effort to get what he could there. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. Okay, this is why you got to be careful to just run it always on first down. you got to break your tendencies. The casual fan... Well, that casual fan knew what was coming, but more importantly, this defensive front did too. Man in motion here. Out of the gun, Young. That's in the hands of Moore. And he's going to go out of bounds. Looks a little short of the 35. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Young working from the gun. He has the first over the middle. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. It's a gain of 12 there. And it'll give the Panthers a first down. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. New set of downs for him from the 46. On first down, here comes Brooks. And this is through the midfield stripe and onto the giant side of the field. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Now it's Young. Complete to Tremble. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. You know, kid, over the years, I've heard defensive coordinators say, hey, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. you got to earn the right for me to call blitzes. And when you call a blitz and you don't get home and you don't hit the quarterback, you've earned nothing. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. It's Hubbard off the option. And he's going to be brought down after reaching the 43. It's a meager two-yard gain, but that's enough to award them the first down. Okay, you know me, I can't resist. I thought we might have needed the old Gene Steratore index card down there. <laughs> Making a really close measurement to see if he got the first down or not. But in the end, well, the right call was made. He got just enough to move the chains. They run again with Hubbard. And that carry only nets one on the plunge up the gut. The one thing I could say positive about the execution of that play is at least he didn't go backwards. They'll come to the line here, second and nine. Looking to throw, Young. Has him on the quick hitter. And he'll go out of bounds close to the 35-yard line. Plays on the table here for third and three. Young to throw it. That's incomplete. Trying to set up the screen there. Looking for the back that time. And now they're left with fourth and short. You know, third and short is a difficult one to call. Do you want to run into the teeth of a defense and looking for that handoff or try to throw it to him and use the element of surprise? Evidently, well, that's one they should have run instead. That kick is no good. Oh, he mishit it. 
And now a window opens for the opposing sideline to end this game. Before quarters couldn't do, Kate, the last two plays might have. Drive stalls on third, then a makeable field goal is no good. And now, well, now that offense will take over needing just a little bit of distance for a game winner of their own. Good starting field position for the Giants as they head up first and ten. Now he gets a shot here in overtime. Gets this to Johnson. And he's going to go down right along the midfield strike. Second and three now. Operating from the gun, it's Jones. Excellent. And the Panthers are there to bring him down. And that pushes him back, third down coming up. So for those of you keeping track, we get a solid completion for decent yardage on first, and then we go backwards on second, Kate. Okay? I guess we got a quality rubber match right here on third down. Let's see what they draw up on this third and seven. On the shotgun, it's Jones. Completed over the middle. And he's taken down directly on that 43-yard line. The Giants are going to call their final timeout here. And they'll be unable to stop the clock again here in overtime. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. Let's see how they attack this first down, Brock, from the 43. From the gun, it's Tracy. And they make the stop. We're gonna say it about the 37-yard line. First down play, nets him five. It's gonna be second and five. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby, but you know what? Talk to managers and they will tell you small ball can win too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you can win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length, it may not be a home run, it may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. Halfway to the marker. It's second and five. Working from the gun. Here's Jones. Short pass brought in. And he's able to drive this to the 29 before the stop. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. That's just great instincts. Go air it out on second down rather than just play conservative and run it. They hit a weak point in the coverage and don't need to worry about third down at all. And he has it down officially to the red zone at the 20. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. They go play fake with Jones. All the other side. And he's brought down inside the 10 at the 9. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock. And they'll have first and goal to figure out. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. A handoff to Tracy. And all he can get is one yard. Ran that right into the defensive front. Okay, all right. There's a little progress on first and goal. You keep it safe, you push a little closer, and now you're set up for what you want to do on second down. 
Eight yards to go as they get set on second and goal. Here he goes on the bootleg. The shot to the end zone is incomplete. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage, and that really did help force the incompletion. They've held him out twice. Here we go, third and goal. Jones looking to throw. Escapes the puck. Trying to get away from the pressure, but he can't, and they drop him. And the pressure drives them backwards. Hey, I get it. You know, there are times as a decision maker playing quarterback when you take a sack and you cut your losses. But when you get an opportunity in the red zone on third down, you'd love to give your guy on the other end a chance because a touchdown, well, we know in the course of outcomes of games, is so much more influential than settling for a field goal. This entire contest rests on his next kick. Now Carolina's going to take a timeout. That's its second. And that'll leave him with just one remaining in overtime. Fourth down, and we're going to see just how clutch he is on this kick. He connected once and a good chance here. This is inside of 35. The kick is good. He got it. And they've taken back the lead. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time well, he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. So the Giants come away with the win. And they only needed to set him up with a shot to connect and win it with three. And his aim was true to make it happen and put an end to this competitive ball game. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time. It's a well-earned win for the Giants as we say goodbye from Germany.